What can we do to try to fix Chicago, bro? Man. <laughs> hey, man. I ain't gonna lie. To fix Chicago, man. Trump should have freed Larry. The fuck is wrong with dude, man? Nah, let me stop. <laughs> I feel like shit. Now nah, I ain't gonna lie. He probably was the last hope, bro. Larry was probably the last hope. Like, now nah, it's just like, not to say motherfuckers gonna really, really listen to him. I would have respected him. A lot of real niggas was gonna respect him. But it's just like, it's too far gone. It's too far gone because, because this street shit then replace sports. You got this shit like a skill set now. This shit like a talent. You got kids, you got motherfuckers out here that don't know shit else but how to shoot. You don't, you got motherfuckers who don't know shit else but to how to slide on the ops, how to lurk. You know what I'm saying? That's all they know. They don't know how to dribble a ball. They don't, they don't even know how to spell a name. They better not spell a name. So you got a motherfucker. You trying, how, how you gonna change that? How you gonna change that unless you gonna go in each hood and take all the guns? Why is there so many guns in the city, man? The niggas supposed to be broke. Man, they ass robbing gun stores. The motherfucking gun stores getting robbed. They, I feel like they just open the motherfucking gun store like come rob us. Voila, they go weapons. Now I don't know why all these switches and shit come from. That's crazy though. They 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 helping the, they helping the motherfucking streets get raw, folks. Explain to us the difference between having a regular gun and having a gun with a switch on it. A gun, a regular gun, is a semi-automatic. And you put a switch on that bitch, it's an automatic weapon, folks. That motherfucker's gonna go from pow, pow to pow. You know what I'm saying? That bitch gonna get the, you know? Is it a lot of switches in the hood, bro? It's unlimited of the motherfuckers throughout Chicago. Not my hood. But it's throughout Chicago, it's unlimited switches. That motherfucker's at first it was it was rare to see a motherfucker with a switch. And then it started becoming popular and popular and popular and popular until like and once shit started trending, it's over with. Cause it's like, you ain't that nigga if you ain't got no switch. So what motherfuckers gonna do? Go get a switch so they can be that nigga, folks. So it's like, yeah, that's what it is. That's just how this shit is. Man, uh, growing up, you you was a big guy, man. The gangs try to recruit you in. Yeah, man. Growing up, I was I grew up on the B block, man. The, they was trying to recruit me every day, man. They was trying to recruit me every day, man. They like, man, come with us, man. And I had some I had some close friends that was beating. And but me choosing my side, my way, we split up early. And then yeah, that was that folk, but I you know. Yeah. So you said you choose your side. What what side did you choose? <laughs> I'm a gangster, man. I chose to be a gangster. My whole family did it, so it's like that's I was I was born into this shit, you know. Even though I ain't never knew my pops, he was a GD. Even he was a GD. So it's like my mama. When I first told my mama my game bang, she she was a GD. She was a sister of the struggle. She you know what I'm saying? And then that's how it was. Then back then when I first jumped in this shit, it was like me learning the literature and learning all that shit, it kind of like, I embraced it like, damn, this shit was like the Bible to me. Wow. It makes sense to me. Right. It, this shit almost like Ruger, man. It's like my <laughs> uncle, they some GDs. My <laughs> 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 nah, that shit real life, man. A lot of more, the whole Chicago was GD, man. This shit was crazy. Damn, don't you find it crazy that the whole world is, you know, since we on the, the thing about GDs, do you find it crazy that, you know, a set like like the uh, the BDs, the Black Disciples, you know, or people like Lil Durk and Chief Keith, do you find it weird that they convinced the rest of America, you know, to drop pitchforks? And it comes from a small, a much more smaller gang. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like, what it is is that, what it is is that everybody don't like the GDs because they so infamous, you know what I'm saying? They're notorious. So it's like they so famous and they so worldwide. It's like when you see 
when motherfuckers coming up, it's like, man, fuck them niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like that animosity towards us. So it's like everybody doing it now because it's like, then it became a trend to just do it. So you got GDs even dropping a race. So you don't even know if he GD or not. He just doing it just because. I don't want to say, I don't want to say keeping them influence that shit, but because it's like, it's like GDs was out there with the Crips and when the GDs and Crips got into it, what the Crips gonna do? Drop the race. Right. You know, but um, basically, drill music brought this all into fruition, right? Because nobody was disrespecting gangs before drill music, right? Mm, that's not true, man. I like, mean, I mean, me, like, like, like you talking about like disrespecting them how a a, a nation of a, a gang like like somebody was just known for being crip killer. You know what I'm saying? Somebody was just no. Nah, they was like that. Killer. It was like that. It was like that in Chicago, man. They like getting Chicago, that. Did Chicago start that trend? Did Chicago. Chicago. I don't know. Chicago definitely like growing up. I go to my auntie house and I see they got GDK all on the uh on the gate. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what gang could this be? But I just knew they was GDK. They ain't fucking GDs. You know what I'm saying? But and I knew me and my you know people I knew they was BDK or MCK or all these different K's. It was a K at the end of they ops name. You feel me? So it was like. Before we came up with the term ops, motherfuckers are already ops. So it's like drill just highlighted shit, like really gave terms to shit. And let's not forget social media, man. How you think social media plays a role in this, bro? Social media, man, that shit is that shit is crazy, man. These motherfuckers be I ain't gonna lie, social media make niggas be way more than who they is, man. It be niggas out and smack them. And and, and and put on their neck and made run and all type of shit. And now they be acting like that nigga now. You feel me? But shit, I feel like social media, it's shit so influential, folks, because you doing a majority of shit people do is for likes, comments, notoriety. Motherfuckers doing shit to be noticed. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, folks. It shit then became such the norm. You wake up in the morning like, damn, how many notifications I got, man? Let me see who the fuck interacting with me. Let me see. You know what I'm saying? So that become a part of your life. So that's what social media then became. And then in terms of these gangsters, it's like, damn, folk, I want to see how many more, how many motherfuckers can tune in to what my block doing. You feel me? But in order for them to tune in, we gotta do some hot shit. So it's like each block doing hot shit. It's like a, a hot shit competition. You know right. what I'm saying? It's like, we gonna do this. Oh, they got one up on us, so we finna get two up on them. You feel me? So it's like, it's, it's like, it's like a fucking Olympics, man. This shit like, man, it's, this shit like a real Olympics. Like, who could turn up, who, who could turn up the most? That's how I feel with social media. Just keep turning motherfuckers up. All right, man. What's, what's coming up for you, bro? What's coming up for me, man? I'm just gonna keep, I'm finna keep dropping, man. I'm finna keep dropping, keep dropping hot shit, man. Freestyle, keep fucking up niggas' beats, man. Cause I'm just gonna keep rapping on the beats that 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 everybody wanna listen to. The hottest song, I'm gonna uh, hop on their favorite rapper beat and fuck it up. That's what I'm gonna do for now. Until okay. they until they know who I am. All right, that sound that sound cool, man. Uh... So you just gonna keep releasing, you know. I've been seeing your videos, you know, and your efforts online, yeah. and I, I feel like, I feel like, if you wanted to, if somebody came calling and wanted you to, to sign with their label, out of all of the labels that's out here, man, who label would you want to sign to, bro? Mm. Probably on a lower scale, I'd say CMG. Cause God will take care of his people, you know what I'm saying? He do his shit. And then from a broader scale, I wanna sign with Jay-Z or or, or Eminem. I wanna sign with one of them. Alright, uh, who influenced you right now? Who influenced me right now? Drake. 
When I hear Drake, folks, when I hear him drop an album, I get back in my rapper mode. I get back in my in, in my lyric mode. Like, let me be more lyrical, folks. Let me tap in. When, and same thing with J. Cole drop, Meek Mill drop. Uh, I fuck with Ruger Heavy, man. That's my favorite Chicago rapper right now. Besides me and my little brother. All right, uh, if I'm the record label and I ask you, I come to you and I say, we can afford one superstar on your single. Who would you <laughs> want that one superstar to be, bro? Man, you know it gotta be. It gotta be my man's Drake, man. Big Draco, man. Drake OVO, man. Hey. I gotta put him on that because he gonna, uh, he gonna put me right through the door, man. So he did the dirt, man. Turned Dirk up, man. He gave, he gave Dirk as an eight box. Dirk only put eight bars on that motherfucker, and it, it and it turned him up. He didn't even get a whole verse. 